Anyway, let's see if I can uh, remember. Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Love is not love, which alters... Let me, see. Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Love is not love, which alters when it alteration finds or bends with the remover to be removed. Oh no, it is an ever fixed mark that looks on tempests and is never shaken. It's the star to every wandering bark whose worth's unknown, but his height's been taken. Love's not time's full. The rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle compass comes. And love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out even to the edge of doom. And if this be air and upon me proved, I never writ, nor no man ever loved. With Shakespeare stuff. I've, I do that every once in a while just to kind of sharpen up my mind. Haven't done it for probably a year, and I guess I'm a little dull. I don't know how the delivery was on that. Work on that. Just got to keep on working on it, working on it. I should try to come up, memorize some other sonnets. Man, yeah, memory. My memory's fading like crazy. My eyesight's fading. My hairline's receding. My esteem is shot. <laughs> Get a little bourbon in me. I'm turning into a brand new man now. Let's put on some ACDC. I'll turn into a freakazoid. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever heard that song, uh, I Feel Safe in New York City, but it's my anthem coming from Podunk, Oakley, Idaho. 720 people. Probably 99% of them are my cousins and all Mormon. Yeah, I'm, I'm the, bl the black sheep. Easily the blackest sheep. <laughs> Probably the only guy that's... I'm pretty sure... The only guy since the town was founded by my great-grandfather in, uh, what, 1865, I think? 70? 1870? I can't remember what it was. But uh, probably the only guy that ever moved to New York. They're like, yo, Kent, what the... First of all, they don't say, yo, Kent, what you doing out there in New York? I mean, sure, nice place to visit. But what the hell you do? I mean, all the Democrats... I mean, what the hell are you doing out there, Kent? I mean, your brother's probably put you to work right here, working on the quarry or on the ranch, you know? And I'm just like, I don't know. It's, don't knock it till you try it. Anyway, this is bullshit. Tons of bullshit. Anyway, I try to go home once a year. Can't wait. I got to go back. Uh, is it June 30th for my mother's 80th birthday? And uh, now, first of all, we're ha having it at the church. And there's probably 200 people coming. The uh, invitation, please don't bring any get gifts. Just come with a funny story about Mariel, my mother. So just totally going through my mind, trying to come up with something funny, something original, something that my brothers and sisters won't be saying. Lots of funny stuff. My mom was just hilarious. So. She raised all eight of us by herself. and Anyway, <laughs> wow. Anyway, I... Uh, we were always running out of gas. My mom's a badass. Be the middle of the night or whatever. Always on the back roads because we were trying to save gas or something. She would just hail down a semi truck or something like that. We'd all hop up in, those, in the semi and go down to a gas station, get a gallon of gas and stick it in whatever car we... I think back in those days we... Pushing a 
<laughs> oftentimes pushing. Like in 1974, Buick Electra, just huge, you know, probably got 12, 12 miles to the gallon. No wonder we always run out of gas. Probably a 20 gallon tank anyway, but I guess if I don't cry, I'll go with that one. I got to work on that. So it's supposed to be funny, right? So I got to come up with some funny, funny stuff. Anyway, my first time doing that. And uh, so I got a little bit choked up with that. I try to keep it light, funny. That's what the invitation says. Make it funny, right? Anyway, that's that.